what is up guys welcome back to the channel super rad video today at least i think so um i'm going to be talking about a camera that isn't the most popular even though there are tons of them made um hey let's jump right into it today i'm going to be talking about the canon p rangefinder So the Canon P is one of Canon's uh, first rangefinders. I won't say it's the first. I know there were a few models before this one, but this is one of the really popular rangefinders that was made. It was uh, made in the late 1950s, early 1960s. They made tons of these models. I've had my eye on getting one for a while, but I've had a super big toss up on which camera I've been wanting to get. As you guys know, I take my Canon, oh, scratch that. As you guys know, I take my Contax T2 everywhere. Automatic camera, pretty much. Point and shoot, batteries, the whole nine, electronics, everything. It's one of the cameras that I take with me most of the time. Well, as of late, I've been looking for a camera that didn't have any batteries. That kind of takes it back to the roots. I wanted something that was fully mechanical. There was no autofocus, no batteries, just nothing to hassle with. So I've been like, up in the air for cameras i've looked at nikons a ton of the f series fe series f2 f3 fe2 just a lot of nikons even nikons rangefinder the s2 s3 um i just have been looking for cameras that i can add to my collection but something that isn't super crazy expensive something that's affordable but also something that's just good holds up well well i stumbled across the canon p that i've looked at for a while um, crazy thing is when you look at look up videos information aside from like forums and stuff there's really not that much information about these cameras out there maybe because they're not that popular obviously your favorite youtuber isn't telling you to go buy a Canon P they're telling you to buy a Pentax 67 but anyway let's just jump right into it this camera is a fully mechanical camera it does have this crazy gnarly light meter now some models you can find have a light meter some don't depends on which ones you find this specific model that i bought or i won't say model specific camera that i bought is in super good condition the lens is obviously used condition well not obviously because you can't see it but the camera is in crazy mint condition it did come with a light meter hopefully that focuses so you guys can see the light meter it's super rudimentary it has just a dial on the top that hooks into the whole cold shoe and it pretty much just moves when you aim it at the light really can't tell if you guys can see it or not but <clears throat> it is rudimentary but it works now not really sure if i'm even eligible to give this video i got this camera tuesday monday night excuse me i've carried it around solidly with me for about a week shooting with it quite a few rolls actually wasted way more film than i should have but i've been carrying it around with me to see how comfortable it is and how much i like it and it's nice the weight is good the weight distribution is really good um <clears throat> it feels really good in the hand it's not cheap it's heavy it's metal it's mechanic there's no batteries it has a really bright rangefinder patch oh god i probably fumbled saying that but the rangefinder patch is really bright you know and you can see it has really good frame lines the lens is good it focuses nice and smooth i mean it's like this thing is i like it a lot now i'm not sure if i'll replace my contacts t2 as far as my everyday camera but god i wanted something nice durable solid that i can carry around and this camera is it it does have some really rad functions. It has up to a thousandth of a second as far as shutter speed. It does have a very similar look to the Leica M3. Most of you guys know what a Leica M3 is. And you guys know how I feel about Leica cameras. I think they're really good cameras, but they are just not budget friendly by any means. And they aren't meant to be, but that's neither here nor there. This lens is a 50 millimeter 1.8 that I have on here and it is extremely solid. Now this camera does take LTM lenses, which are like a thread mount lenses. These are just screw on lenses. They're not bayonet style. You literally just have to unscrew the lens and give me a second. It has quite a few screw threads on it. Just have to unscrew the lens and ta-da, it is screwed off. Hopefully that focuses, but this is 
your 50 millimeter 1.8 there are a few style lenses for this camera i mean you can get third party lenses that are a lot cheaper than the actual ltm canon mount lenses i mean they're still not expensive i mean maybe a few hundred dollars they're not going for super crazy but they're not extremely cheap either um another i guess downside about this camera not downside it does have a metal shutter curtain but for some reason all the curtains are wrinkled very likely to get a camera that has a wrinkled shutter now as that or why that is i don't know could be something with the age heat i don't know usage couldn't tell you now it doesn't affect the camera whatsoever still snaps same shoots the same fires the same doesn't affect the camera whatsoever see looks good I don't know, everything functions great. Um, another cool thing is this rewind lever is really fancy. It is <clears throat> one of my favorite attributes about this camera, how it sits very, very flush with the actual, like, I don't know, roof of the camera, the top mount, whatever it is. I don't know how you describe it, but everything about this camera is very sleek. Like I said, it's very comparable to the Leica M3. They are extremely close when it comes to design and how it's made. Now, cool thing about this camera too is your focusing dial here at the bottom does go back and forth. It also locks into place so you can't move it. You just gotta put your finger on it and push it around and it re unlocks the actual focusing dial, how you focus. The range finder patch is nice, accurate, it's really good. Um, focusing is really smooth on this camera. Another really cool thing I like about it is it doesn't have these silly punctual dots that a lot of the Canon A1s have or just Canon A1 models where you have to um, unhook your film to be able to re-spool it. You just have to twist your A mount and you can twist it along to this secondary dot on the back here. You have to unhook from the bottom, which has a nice little lever that actually unlocks it from the base. And that's what allows you to open your film back. Or I guess it's in the film back, but open the back of your camera. The reason I think that's really cool is because I have, and I'm sure most of us here have, accidentally opened the back of your camera and exposed the roll of film unintentionally. So this does have that cool little prevention clasp, I guess you could call it, on the bottom of the camera that prevents you from unlocking the back, which I think is really cool. Um, one thing that I not, don't necessarily like about the camera's ergonomics is the camera neck strap location. The strap hinges, hooks, whatever you like to call them, they just sit a little far forward for me. So if you are wearing a neck strap, which I typically don't, but if you are, the camera tends to sit with like a tilt on it. And I mean, I could it just look silly, honestly. You just look a little silly <laughs> walking around with your camera kind of sitting like that. Technically, it should be sitting nice and pretty. So people ask you, hey, what kind of camera is that? Instead of sitting like this and people saying, why are you taking a picture of your chin? I'm just kidding. People never say that. But overall, aside from that, I do really like it. Like I said, it's smooth. It's so durable. I didn't think the quality was going to be like as heavy and as, as like as made as it would be. But God, I was a... I was definitely wrong about that. I am very glad that I picked this up. It also has a self timer right here. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in this video, but it does have a self timer. You just literally have to spin this little wheel down, you forward advance your film, and then you shoot. It will rotate. Fires your photo. And that allows you to take self-portraits or whatever you're doing. My finger probably hit that a few times, but not a big deal. But yeah, it helps you fire self-portraits if you want to set it up on a tripod and go take a picture of you and your buddies getting hammered in the weekend. Not saying I did that, but other than that, I really don't have too much else to say about this camera. It is really cool quality. If you want one, pick one up. The price of these things are super reasonable. I think you can get one for around $200, $250, depending on the availability and the details of it. Obviously, they are old cameras, so be careful when looking for one. If you want one, just be careful of the mold, haze, fungus, scratches, just all that stuff. 
when you look for a camera, be a bit careful because they are old and they have seen a lot. So the older the camera, the more prone it is to having some sort of issues. This one actually is free of mold, free of haze and all the above. So I got a pretty stellar deal on it, so I couldn't help but grab it. It is rad. I guess now I can say it's uh, your YouTuber's favorite camera. Maybe I'm not your YouTuber, but God, that sounds weird to say YouTuber. But if you guys like the Canon P, get one. I hope you like this video. I really appreciate you watching. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have checked in, all the new people that comment. I really appreciate you. Thanks for coming to the channel. I really hope this video serves somebody well because when I was looking for one of these cameras, I had a really hard time finding any information and I hope I answered some of your questions. If I didn't, I am sorry. Leave me a comment in below and I will do my best to respond to you. I appreciate you all. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe, tell your friends that you love it. If you hate it, Tell your friends you hate it too. Until next time, be easy.